Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you a brand new way to acquire an infinite amount of XP. Also, I'm going to be showing you a great way to get back into the spaceport. Not only that, but I'm also going to be showing you how to get back inside Dogtown early and exit outside of Dogtown as well so you can keep your items. This right here is something that was requested. Unfortunately, I did not show it in the video when I did post that one video about two or three days ago. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. First off, let's talk about the unlimited or infinite amount of XP that you can acquire. What we need to do is first locate a group of enemies. And the reason why is because we're going to take them out and look for specific shards. You can look for a capacity one, a shinobi one, it's all up to you. But what I recommend is one that you're trying to level up. For example, this fella right here, he has a shinobi shard. So what I'm going to do is pick him up. I will locate a trunk or a garbage bin nearby and we're going to drop him inside. Now, if you have seen one of my previous videos, you might be thinking, oh, we're doing the infinite loot glitch. No, we cannot do that anymore because they have actually patched that method. What we are going to do is a bit different here because you cannot drop skill shards. Instead, drop a body into the bin, so then it drops the loot. We then want to pause the game and pick up the skill shard at the same exact time and then create a quick save, load up the same exact save. And if everything's done correctly, you should be able to see that the skill shard is on the ground. And then if you check your stats, you should see that you have leveled up. For example, if I check out the character tab here, then go down towards skill progression, you're going to see that the Shinobi skill has leveled up almost towards 25 exactly. We can do this as long as we want until we're fully maxed out towards Shinobi and then we can move on towards Headhunter. Now, if you're wondering whether or not you can do this with components, you actually can. Now, it will take a few tries if you're not used to the timing here because, you know, it can be kind of tedious. So just make sure that you are giving it time here. But as you can tell, I have done this unsuccessfully because my component has not went up at all. So I'm going to pick it up, create a quick save, and then load up that save again. This time, if you check out the components, you're going to see that I have picked it up. And you're also going to see the component on the ground. For example, right here, you can see on the left side when I check the backpack that we have 612. So when I pick this up, we should be at 620. So yeah, you could do this for components and skill shards alike. Let's go ahead and move on and talk about a way to get back inside Dogtown and also how to get outside of Dogtown so you can keep the unique items. What we're going to do here is we're going to spawn on the left side here or travel towards the left side here of Pacifica and it will be on the corner of Dogtown here. So we're going to then spawn in a van of some sort. The cool thing here is that you do not need a van specifically, but if you have a vehicle that's high enough like this, that will work just fine. Maybe a monster truck of some sort. We then want to hop inside a vehicle that's high enough and then we'll take it towards the left side here. Then park it on the right side against the wall and then we're going to exit out. We need Fortified Ankles and Rebecca Shotgun, which will be Guts. Once you do have those requirements, you're going to then hop on top of the vehicle here. We're going to then hold down the space button. Then we're going to fire the shotgun right afterwards. What will happen is it will then launch you up in the air. Then you just want to continuously do this until you're on top of the barrier on top of this watchtower. Then go towards the crates here. Then we're going to drop down towards the right. And then you can just land down below, but if you want, you can aim for the doors, which will kind of reduce the impact here. Of course, I missed. Now I'm going to hop on top of the red door here, and we're going to use the same exact method. So that means hold down the button, whichever one it is for you, probably A or X. For me, it's going to be space. Then I'm going to shoot the shotgun right afterwards. Launch on top, go towards the left, climb on top of the invisible barrier. Once you're on top of the invisible barrier, go towards the watchtower, drop down below on top of the barbed wire if you can. If you do fall down below, you will be able to survive the fall damage. Do not worry about that. And there you go. The only reason why we want to go inside Dogtown early is to pick up a lot of those uniques super early in the game and you can then bring them into the campaign early. Hopefully that has been helpful. If it has, give this video a like and let's go on and move on towards the next glitch. What we're going to do is arrive over here inside Dogtown, specifically right here on the map. You can see that there's different ways to get here, but of course we're gonna be right here, dead center almost, more towards the top left. Then we're going to go all the way towards the end. Watch out, there will be some enemies on the left side. Because, well, when you shoot your shotgun, things are going to get hectic here. They might just shoot at you. So 
We're going to hold down the space button, let go, and then shoot the shotgun so you can go all the way up. We're going to land on this wire. Then we'll do it again so we can land on the next wire here. Then if we look towards the top here, we need to jump all the way up there and then jump towards the very top portion here, which if you do land on the very top portion, just stay there. Do not drop down below. If you are being shot at, just wait it out and then you can create a quick save. This is what I had done right here. Then once you have created a quick save, you're good to go and we can then hop on top of the highest portion here. Then hold down the space button, shoot the shotgun. Now you're at the top. Drop down below, but do not go too far to the right there. You may fall down below. See the opening on this roof? We're going to drop down below and we can pick up some items within here. So when you do drop down below, you will be able to survive the fall damage. There's not going to be a problem there. Then you can just go around, loot up this place, and then I will be able to show you how to get back towards the top, which you could then exit out and be able to keep these items. It's quite simple, so pretty much here are some items on the side though. I just want to kind of pinpoint where they are. Of course, you can kind of just find out where they are when you do enter inside this area. Then from there, we're going to, of course, go back towards the front portion here. Go towards the wall, jump towards the left side here. There should be some sort of way of just kind of standing right here. And then shoot the shotgun, jump up, dash forward, and you should be good to go. You can then exit outside of this location go back inside the map and keep those items. Now let's go on and talk about a way to get back inside the spaceport. Let's go ahead and travel towards the spaceport, hop inside your vehicle or on your bike and then head straight towards the left side of the map. Once you have done so, you can then go towards the end of the bridge here and we're going to jump right off the bridge. Go towards the right side and then head towards the left side, which, well, more so it's going to be forward, but I'm saying if you're looking at the map, it's going to be left. Now, once you do reach the end here, you're going to swim underneath and you should see a gap that you can squeeze through and you should be inside the spaceport, but more so underneath the map. For example, right here, you're going to see the gap that I just talked about. We're going to go right in between it, so squeeze right through. You may need to go towards the right a little bit more there and then go towards the top. We then want to continuously go forward until there's no water. And then once you reach the end, you should see a path towards the right side. This is where we're going to travel to. For example, right here, you can see that we're landing. Now we're going to go towards the right side. So here we are again. We're going to then push forward and go towards the left side. As you do go towards the left, you're going to see some sort of way to jump up. What we're going to do is push ourselves through the barrier so we can land at the very top. We're going to be near some rockets and what you're going to do is more so just kind of go towards the right side and travel on the, uh, I guess, what would it be considered as uh, some sort of transit, I guess. You will see what I'm talking about here soon. So here we go. We just popped through the barrier and now we can go towards the right side. You should see a rocket and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do right here is just kind of remain commentary free, but I'm going to end the video at the same time because it's all self-explanatory. Hope that you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comment down below. I will be answering within the first hour. With that being said, thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you all in the next update.